Okay, here we are. So I haven't um, done a walkthrough of my yesterday. You're going to see over the course of the next couple of days probably um, a few more walkthroughs of some of the current workshops that I have that I haven't actually done the walkthroughs for yet. Um, this one is uh, yesterday and today extended story workshop. So it features the products yesterday and today from close to my heart. And um, I took it in a little bit of a different direction. So it's an extended story. So I thought it would be fun for me to walk through it with you. This is a little bit different than my normal walkthroughs where we go and we walk through the products needed for the um, workshop. Because I taught this in um, my online teaching group uh, that I have with um, Creative Collaboration, I wasn't going to show it here until I had taught it to them first. They um, got this workshop as part of their membership. And uh, so we did it last night, Tuesday. Days are all getting blurred with everything else going on. But... I thought I would show it to you guys today because I've had quite a few questions and it is a little bit hard to answer some of the questions. I'll just make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see some more. Um, if you've not seen the premise behind it before or understand, hey Vicki, um, or understand what is in actually the workshop and how it's different than a normal scrapbooking workshop. So the extended story is um, still a scrapbooking workshop. Um, it's just, it's different in the sense that um, it uses different size page protectors and it's just a different way to tell your story. So for my first extended story workshop, I really wanted to play with the yesterday and today. And I actually think it turned out beautifully. Um, so I thought we would walk through just like normal, the supplies, what's in the workshop, um, all the details, uh, it is nice, eh? And I know, Vicki, you don't crick it, but like I said, you can totally do it without that part. Totally. There, it, it would, it's still, it was beautiful even without those parts on. But there is a Cricut file that goes with this one to cut out, to cut out some of the titles and the parts and pieces and the embellishments. So I think... So it is on my blog, and we'll just kind of walk through a few of the details of the, um, I had the same problem yesterday. We'll just put that there to try and focus it. Hey, Bray. So the um, contents that you need to create the workshop, even though this list looks super long, it's not. Um, it's because some of it's lots of single pieces of cardstock. But you use the memory protectors, the combo pack, so it's all the different sizes. You use half a pack of the yesterday and today paper pack. And then there's some single sheets of paper. If you don't want to order them as single sheets, I kind of group them here so that you could order them as, as a custom pack. You end up with a little bit of extra cardstock, but that's not a big deal. Um, we used mink twine, julep shimmer trim, uh, gold loose sequins because you get a lot of bang for your buck out of them. Um, and then the stamp sets that are from the um, Storyteller series. Um, I did suggest that if you haven't taken a look at the Storyteller how-to book, it's a great resource. You don't need it to complete the workshop, but it's helpful. There's um, When I taught it last night, we went through some of the prompts and some things like that. Um, so there's the full supply list and then, um, there is a Cricut file. It wants to focus on my text. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, there is a full Cricut file. There's, um, general instructions for it because it is a little bit different. And then there is a full cutting guide. So that you, most of it you can cut just by itself. And then there's um, some of the accents, like I said, and titles are cut out of the Cricut. 
And then the instructions, I set them up differently because of course it was a different workshop. It's a different kind of workshop to teach. So uh, we had fun last night. Um, but so the way I've set it up is so that it's super easy to figure out what is going on because it's a little bit different than normal. So it tells you um, like the layout number, what size page protector you need for that, those pages, the suggested photo sizes, but you can totally change them. And then which um, are the Cricut cuts that go on that page. And then the stamping that I used on that page. And then there's your directions. So that's how the whole thing looks. So I thought I would show you mine. So um, like I said, we taught it, I taught it last night. So I put pictures on my pages. We're going to end up with like a slight glare, but um, it, it's good to visualize so you can actually figure out what is going on. Uh, thank you. I, the pages turned out beautifully, I think. And it was super fun because it's just, it was a different thing to play with, a different kind of um, workshop to work on. So this is my grandmother, and that is who I decided to um, use my extended story about. She was uh, my dad's mom, and uh, she was my first grandparent that passed away. I was very lucky. I had both. I had two, well, I had. And that's not true. My grandfather, her husband, actually passed away before I was born, and then my grandparents on the other side. Actually, I had them like into my adulthood. Both my kids actually met them. They don't really remember them, but um, so she, this was, this grandma was very special to me though. And um, so that's who I decided to focus my extended story on. So like I said, it's a little bit different because it's got different size page protectors. So I'm gonna walk you through it so you can see how it all comes together. So like I said, these are the little bunny bums I have to do something with, yeah. Um, so you have when you have get the workshop, you have everything you need, all the instructions, directions to create them exactly the same way I do. And so the first page is like an eight and a half by eleven, and that's my grandma. And then this is a super old photograph of her too. And obviously, this is the back side of the eight and a half by eleven. And then it moves on to a six by six page. So this was the day they got married. And the six by all the page protectors line up off of a 12 by 12 on the back. And so I've started to tell my story in here. So this was the day my grandparents got married. And there's just another photo of my grandma. So we go then from a six by six and the six by six can be at the top of the pages or at the bottom of the pages. So, and then the next page protector is the four by sixes. And you can change out the little journaling prompts if you need to, because there's lots to choose from on the stamp sets. And lots of people have these stamp sets in their supply already because they've been with us for over a year now. So this is the four by sixes. And then the next page protector is like little three by fours. And so at this point, I'm starting to transition from my grandmother and to this is my dad and his sisters and his brother. And then I move on to like me. So the last page is going to be me and my grandma. This is me and my sister. And then um, the story about she came. This was actually like relatively soon after I was born. Um, so she came to visit us because we didn't live near her at that point. And then this is her and my dad and my cousins and my sister and me. So, like I said, it was just a super quick video because I wanted to show you what the extended story actually was. Because lots of people saw the workshop and didn't really understand how it was different than a normal 12 by 12 scrapbooking workshop that I do. And this is quite different um, in that... You can do most of it with the trimmer, which is what most of my workshops are like. But this one, I did add the Cricut in to just, like I said, to add some of the accents and make it a little bit easier. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer them. 
And like I said, all the details are on my blog at Chris's Creative Life. I'm sorry, I'm like in a so totally new space. As many people have heard my story lately, we have a foundation leak. So we had to last week on top of everything else, move my whole office um, so that I could still teach. Uh, so I still can't get my directional things in the right way. But it's Chris's Creative Life .blogspot.ca. Um, if you're looking to purchase the workshop files or if you place a $35 or more order on my shopping website, you could pick this as uh, one of your, your workshop that you want to get for free from me. Um, everybody that places an order of $35 or more before shipping and taxes gets to pick their um, workshop file. Hey, Belinda. Um, that they would like and um, yeah so I just like I said I just wanted to walk you through because it is a little bit different um, and like I said I'll be coming back on because I have still I'm not sure if it'll be tonight because everybody's schedule is so wonky these days I'm not used to this many people being around all the time um, but I still have my these are my people um, scrapbooking workshop to do a walkthrough of and wait till you see the other one that I just finished today. It was like a huge challenge I set before myself. I had the these are my people cut above pages sitting on my desk and I thought hmm lots of my customers don't do a six by eight mini album so I, I think I could turn these into scrapbook pages and I, they, they're awesome. They turned out awesome. So that will be coming in the future too. Um, cause I finished assembling it today. I just have to figure out how to photograph everything and get it into a plan. But like I said, I think this turned out awesome. I love it. It's not super complicated, but it's pretty and, um, you could switch out things if they didn't go with what you were wanting to tell your story about. But like I said last night, like I, when I put everything together, um, it was, I didn't think about the photographs that I was going to tell my story about. I just made it work. And um, like I said, because we are, because of my office is not where it's supposed to be. The rest of the photographs are in some sort of Rubbermaid tub somewhere at the moment that I couldn't actually find before I taught the class last night. So this is as many photographs as I could get on. And um, I just started my journaling today. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you all have a great night and enjoying all your time at home these days. Thank you, Jennifer. I Like I said, I really, really like it. It turned out really nice. And I think that the pictures, the pictures didn't do it justice because it's something different and hard to photograph. So um, that's why I wanted to get on and do a video. I've been meaning to do it for a while, but like I said, I wanted to teach it first before I showed it because I think that this one also made a difference to show it with some of the photographs at least on it. So... Have a great night, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.